Brothers and sisters of the black community, I'm going to be very brief on this video. Please listen to what I have to say. Please click that bell so you get the notifications of everything that I do if you really, really support the channel and want to hear my thoughts on certain things because uh, a lot of people tell me they don't get notifications from my channel. They have to actually come back here and uh, see what I upload. So I want to talk about this very, very fast. As we see what's unfolding throughout the country throughout the world with this uh this new day for black people you know this uprising letting authorities know that we're not taking this shit anymore okay i also said one thing in a previous video i said that we cannot trust these people who keep kneeling before us who keep asking for our forgiveness because they're going to ask for your forgiveness for now and then once things die down they'll be back to disrespecting to discriminating and hating you again. They hate you already, but they'll show it again. Trust me. Don't fall for the nonsense. And at the same time, as we are calling out the police officers and calling out white supremacy and racism for what it is, as we've always done, we need to really start calling out and getting rid, cleaning house, so to speak, on these black people on YouTube who are not for black people. I've been speaking for black people since 2015. My channel was taken away. I have this channel now that's very small, but I still do my part. Videos up empowering people and sharing my information that I have and talking about the various topics that, you know, that affect black people, basically, because I'm black and I love my people. We have people out there that are pretending to be pro-black. People out there that are pretending to love black women and pretend to love black men, but they only love one thing. And that's the almighty dollar as far as they're concerned. You got the Tommy Sotomayors out there that talk so much shit about black women. I'm calling, I'm saying their names. I don't give a fuck if they see this or not. It doesn't matter to me. They talk about how black people are wrong for doing this. The looting is wrong, yes, I believe. But they spend their day watching this all day because they have no fucking content of their own to make up. So they have to look at what's going on around the world and, you know... Talk about how bad black people are and how we are all criminals and this and that. The same bullshit that, you know, all these coons will say because they want to be, you know, in the good graces and they want to impress their handlers, their white friends, okay? When you give a shit about what white people think and you don't care what your people think, you already are a traitor, okay? You have these people that promote swirling to this day, despite still seeing that black men and black women are being killed by these people that look like the ones that they date. They still promote these people as their best choice to this day. Right now, while this shit is going on, they're still doing the same thing. Kristen Karrison. You have Paris Milan, who talks so badly of black men, like there's no black man in this world that's ever done anything good. Still to this day, still making videos negatively about black men. Cynthia G doing the same fucking thing, okay? I don't know how, as black people, we can consider these people to be our friends when they say they love black men, they love black people, but they do everything in their power to continue to make negative videos about black men especially. I will never agree with making videos negatively about black women and black men unless it's deserved. And hey... I can, I, can, I can hear you. I can hear you. You'll say at this point that it's deserved that these black men be called out. But at the same time, there are more black men out there and black women fighting for a cause instead of looting like these other people, these outsiders are doing to make us look bad. There are black men and black women out there actually doing the right thing. And you want to continue this fucking narrative of separating black men and black women. That's what you want to do. So despite all the shit that's going on right now, you're still working to separate black men and black women you're doing a good fucking job of that i hope you're proud of yourself see these are the people just like the white people out there and the other racists and different nationalities out there that hate black people okay you need to call these motherfuckers that i named out to and i don't give a fuck if they see this i don't give a fuck if they get rid of the video i don't care they need to be called out for this shit because we're trying to be together as a people and get things done and try to cause change for ourselves so we don't have to be the next statistic out there. And these motherfuckers that I named, including others that I won't name because I, don't, I can't name them all in this one video because there's so many out there, are making videos trying to separate black men and black women. I'm talking about Beckys are fighting for black men. Why are we fighting for black men when they're doing the job for... 
You ain't even out there. You're not even out there. The shit is out here by me, and I see what's going on. You ain't even out there doing a fucking thing. You on a goddamn computer uploading a video talking about what you see when you ain't out there in person. The shit is coming to my neighborhood close and personal, up close and personal. I'm in New York. I'm in the Bronx. Look at the news and see what's happening in my area right now. Don't tell me shit. You on a computer talking about what black men ain't doing, what black women should be doing, and this and that. All you're doing is trying to fuel the flames of the stupid ass, what do we call this shit, the gender war that shouldn't even be happening. So when black people, when you're calling out the shit that's going on right now, when it comes to these racist fucks, remember to call out the ones in our own communities that are doing the destruction within. Yes, there are black men out there that are doing wrong. Yes, there are black women out there that are doing wrong. But you continue 24-7, 365, making videos on what black men are doing bad, what black women are doing bad. Instead of talking about what we need to be getting done as a community, as united people. You're not doing us any favors. You're not doing anything but making money off the misery and off the bad images of black people that you single out. You single out a certain group of black men because you see they do negative things. You single out a group of uh, a group of black women because they do negative things that supports your cause, that supports your narrative. That's what you do. Fuck you. That's what I feel about you. Because right now, it ain't about you and it never will be about you. See, the thing is, you people out there that are promoting this negative image of black people, you people that are out there promoting swirling, you're going to be the ones that lose in the end, not us, because we are fighting for what we always should have been fighting for. For our freedom, for our justice, for our rights. That's what is most important. Not getting in bed with someone of a, another nationality, someone of another community, someone who is non-black. That's what you want to do. And you want to fan the flames of the war that should never even be happening on YouTube or on social media. Which is a war between black women and black men. This shit needs to end. There are bigger things, more important things than your fucking war that you want to start. Because you're nothing but an instigator. You don't give a fuck about black women. You don't give a fuck about black men. You don't give a fuck about black people. Okay? Spare me. All you do is make constantly. I would think that you would even try to stoop to becoming a human being for once. But I thought too much of you. I thought too much of you at this point. I thought that you was actually going to make a video showing how there are black men and black women out there who are protesting and doing the right fucking thing. Black men are actually getting in the police face right now, okay? I don't get it. I never will get it because, see, even though I know there are negative elements and negative people in our community, I look for the good as well, and there are many good people out there. All those black people who have died in the past, even before you and me were even alive, we do this for them as well as ourselves, as well as the future of the black community who are our children, our brothers, our sisters, our nephews and nieces, okay? Our sons and daughters. But you out here instigating bullshit, talking about, oh, this is why you can't trust black men because this not, you better get the fuck out of here. You better get the fuck out of here, okay? Because what's more important to you than black people's freedom and black people's rights is you continuing to make money off of YouTube talking about how black men ain't shit, how black women ain't shit. How black men want to be with white women and this and that. You keep looking at the negative motherfuckers out here instead of looking at the ones who are doing what is right. That makes you a fucked up person. Seriously. Please call these people out, ladies and gentlemen. Please remember not to listen to these motherfuckers. Because they ain't no good. They just as bad as the people we fighting against. Because the people we fighting against hate us, but they hate us too because when you're black and you want to separate black men and black women from each other, you ain't doing no better. None. And when you tell people that this person is doing this and that, but you ain't even out there protesting, then you're a woman, okay, so if you're a woman, don't go out there and do it. Okay? But you keep your fucking mouth shut because you don't know what the fuck is going on. I see what's going on here. This is curfew where I live right now. I've seen this shit up close and personal. Businesses being broken into and violence erupting out here. So don't tell me shit. Because I see it up close. While your ass is sitting at home behind a fucking computer trying to figure out what the next hateful upload is going to be from your goddamn channel. Okay? Let's make that clear right now. I'm out.